hello everyone you are welcome back to shabest online tutorial in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to make d the subject or the formula from this equation this is change of subject of formula and the given equation is what b is equal to d over root of m squared plus b d squared and we are asked to make d the subject of the formula the first thing we are going to do is to clear the fraction by cross multiplication this b here can also be written as what b over one now we are going to cross multiply 1 multiplied by d is going to give us d, which is equal to b multiplied by root of m squared plus p d squared is the same as b into the bracket of root of m squared plus p d squared. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to divide through by b so that we cancel this b. So we divide both the right hand side and the left hand side by b so that this b is going to cancel this b. We're left with what d over b which is equal to square root of m square plus p d square now the next thing we are going to do is to remove the square root by square both sides of the equation so we square both the left hand side and the right hand side of this equation so that this square is going to cancel out the square and in the left hand side this square is affecting both d and b so we are going to have uh, d square all over b square which is going to be equal to the square root have cancelled already this is going to be what m squared plus p d squared. So the next thing we're going to do is to cross multiply again. This is the same as m squared plus p d squared all over 1. Then 1, one multiplied by d squared is going to give us a d squared, which is going to be equal to b squared multiplied by m squared plus p d squared. So the next thing we're going to do is to open this bracket. We're going to have what d squared, which is going to be equal to b squared multiplied by m squared is going to give us b squared m squared then plus b squared multiplied by p d squared is going to give us b squared p d squared so the next thing we are going to do is to move all the time with d to the left hand side of the of the equation because we are solving for d now we have d squared here and when this p b squared p d squared cross this equality sign is going to change to what minus b square then p d square which is going to be equal to we are left with only b square m square in the in the right hand side so the next thing we are going to do if you look at this we have d square p b square p d square so d square d square is common in the left hand side so we are going to factor out d square then we open bracket now we're going to divide d square divided by d square is the same as one then minus b square p d square divided by d square it d square d square will cancel it will remain b square p so this is going to be what b square then p which is going to be equal to in the right hand side we have b square then m square so the next thing we are going to do remember we are solving for the value of d is to divide both sides of this equation by the coefficient of d square which is what one minus b square p so we divide through by one minus b square p then also 1 minus b square p. So that the whole of this is going to cancel this. We are left with what d square, which is going to be equal to b square m square all over 1 minus b square p. So the next thing we are going to do is to eliminate this square by square both sides of the equation. So we square the left hand side, also we square the right hand side. So that this square is going to cancel out the square root d now will be equal to you know when you are taking the square root is plus or minus square root of that thing but in this case we are going to pick only the positive part which is going to be what square root of b square m square all over one minus b square p and here is the value of d from this given equation thank you for watching and please follow and subscribe for more video like this thanks